I think building anything in the world needs a team and building this car or what what do you call it the off-road the off road yeah. car definitely needs a strong team yeah. and we got one in the year right oh, the yes. strongest <laughs> team in the world yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome thank you Mitten. thank you very much take talk let's talk this is the mitten shah show we've asked the same seven questions to entrepreneurs from all over the world to figure out what makes us tick take talk let's talk Welcome back, everybody. Today we are here with Abir from Jordan. Abir, thank you very much. If you can tell us a little bit about yourself and how would you explain what your company does to a seven-year-old child? All right. Um, lovely to meet you, and thank you for doing this, Mitten. Um, so I'm Abir Kumsiya, and I come from Jordan, from the Middle East. And uh, how would I explain my business to to a seven-year-old? Interesting question. Um, I would tell him or her that um, I we would help him or her become a leader and at the same time be a great team player and a team supporter. So we do team building programs and leadership training for uh, employees of companies, organizations, and corporates. Yeah. So you tell him or her that. They can tell everyone in their class what to do, but everyone in the class will still like them a lot. Yep, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's correct. <laughs> cool. Uh, what got you started on this? Well, I was employed with a multinational, and I was inspired to see how um, employees' motivation is affected so much by leaders and managers, and how the relationships at work are so vital and important to the success of the organization. So I decided to go and open Better Business in order to uh, help people grow as um, people, as team players, and as team leaders in order to grow their companies and achieve a lot more than what they can achieve. Oh, awesome. So it's, it's like in chemistry, it's the bonds which are as important as the elements sort of thing. Right. Yeah. And, you know, working with a lot of organizations, you can see the difference when you have harmony among the team, when mm -hmm. you have a great leader, uh, somebody who inspires the team and pushes them forward and motivates them and understands their, their strengths, understand their, understands their weaknesses, the difference between what these companies and corporates can achieve and the, dif the, the other uh, uh, companies where you don't have people who care, you don't have bonds, you don't have teamwork, you don't have leadership, and really it's amazing. Awesome. So as a leader, leading or teaching other people how to lead. Um, what keeps you up at night and what makes you jump out of bed in the morning? Um, interesting question. Actually, uh, I want to um, digitalize my business and I'm working on that uh, in, in several ways. I have several options and I always think how can I really have something that can impact even a lot more people in a shorter period of time um, because you know life is short and uh, and we've been doing great and the business is doing uh, very well but I'm looking for exponential growth through the digital era and you know just riding that wave okay well but how do you do that in, in your line of business because your line of business is very people business. Yes, yeah. yes, I understand. Actually, um, we have several initiatives. One of them is a startup now that is like a baby coming out of Better Business, which is an online platform to connect experts with companies at the same time. Okay. So we still believe in the human connection, mm -hmm. but maybe fast finding that those experts faster, finding the right expert for the right job. Uh, and also, of course, you know, jumping on the era of e-learning and, and uh, probably um, playing games for team building online so in order also to accelerate uh, you know the exponential growth of companies awesome so this lego idea will resonate oh with yes <laughs> big time <laughs> what do you know now that you wish you knew when you started this journey oh a lot i mean yeah. that that brings me back to a lot of pains um, you know i wasn't a person who got an international education i got local education i didn't have um, many people around me who could uh, help me uh, get to know the secrets of running a business I, I just you know <coughs> it happened very naturally uh, uh, and uh, uniquely I must say because I don't have entrepreneurs around me but um, I wish that I read a lot and I really chose the right books and um, uh, two I wish I knew the sphere of uh, scaling and scaling up and choosing the right um, 
business for your passion you know uh, I've did I've done a lot of mistakes so yeah there's a lot a lot to learn for, uh, and to, to also network with the right people be around the right people so that you can really grow faster mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you just touched upon the next question I was going to ask what are some of the mistakes you've made that others can learn from yeah I think um, I was too uh, careful uh, uh, protecting my, my, my business and myself, not sharing with others. Um, and I always um, didn't understand, you know, when you have partners and ha have investors and have people that you can really grow the business uh, back then. Um, and, and these are one of the things that I, I didn't realize early on in my career. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's, it's the people that you surround yourself with? No, that's not, no. What is the mistake? Uh, it's, it's the mistake I not getting enough knowledge at the right time. Okay, right. That, that was one of the very big mistakes, and always not not giving back. You know, yeah. I've learned that when we give, we take back a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, but I've learned it the, the painful way. I've mm -hmm. learned it after after I've done it and given a lot. So I took a lot, mm -hmm. and um, not learning to give early on your life, I think, can harm you right, uh, right. a lot. So so you need to really give. Uh, uh, and share and uh, volunteer and do things for your community and I, I all this came back to me I mean I yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I climbed uh, to ever space camp uh, to support the cancer center in Jordan and that was a massive and an awesome trip that changed my life around if I have done if I had done that in my 20s yeah. that could have really uh, brought a lot of uh, uh, networking and relationships and gains to my, to the business I, I did it uh, uh, a couple of years back okay. so I was in my late 30s okay, so everybody go to base camp yeah. <laughs> <I mean, laughs> volunteer <laughs> help others <laughs> So that must be a point that you're really proud and happy about. But share us some of the other moments that you're really proud, happy, and satisfied about. Well, I'm I'm happy with my um, with my family relationships and my friend relationships. I have a, a very um, tight, a strong uh, internal family relationship with my daughters and my husband, uh, as well as my parents, my brothers and sisters, and um, my uh, sister-in-laws. Uh, and this is for me very important and my staff uh, at Better Business. I feel that what I have in life is the people that uh, surround me and of course my EO uh, fellows and my forum. Uh, these are all that I consider them the success in my life. It comes back very nicely to where we started. It's the connections are so important. Right. Yeah, right absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Right. So if you had a billboard and you could put on any message that you want, what would uh, that message be? Wow. Yeah. Um, I think um, the word no is should not be in, it, in the dictionary. So <laughs> I I feel that I want to tell everyone don't accept no uh, as an answer to anything. You just go to to what you want to achieve and do it no matter what people tell you. Yeah. About the word no, um, I've got three kids, and uh, what I realized is a big change in them is when they learn the word no. Like before then, you know, it's a lot of fun playing with them. And as soon as the word no enters their dictionary, it's like a different person altogether. Right. And you, you need so much energy to have them do the same sort of thing. Uh, so, yeah. It sends very um, negative vibes to the other person yeah. and uh, gets him or her to behave in a different way ra yeah. the, when rather than when they hear the word yes. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. so I hope people will be able to remove it from their dictionary. I hope I, my kids can <laughs> remove it from yeah. theirs. <laughs> Um, so, uh, how has EO made a difference in your personal family, community or business life? Well, EO is my second family and I, I believe that um, it taught me the, the, the sense of serving and um, it has really touched my heart, uh, touched my life, uh, changed me as a person, um, uh, changed my, helped my relationships, helped my business grow uh, and connected me to the world, I must say, because mm -hmm. um, the world is really can be so big, so large, so huge, and can be really very, very small. Yeah. EO made it small, made it closer, made yeah. it warmer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And EO brought us together in Macau. Correct. So, thank you very much, Abir. <laughs> thank it's you, it's a pleasure. Pleasure. Thanks.